Howdy ho Jeepers, it's Tony with the Jeep Talk Show, and this is our interview episode. I'm hoping you're having a great Friday. I'm hoping you're having a great Friday the 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th, they, they do happen, uh, as well as Saturday the 14th. Anybody remember that movie? There was, uh, yeah, that, that was back when Friday the 13th movies were really popular. It was a comedy, of course. <laughs> anyway, let's have our conversation with Chris of G Tops, great friend of the show, and uh, just enjoy him and his products. Uh, just to, to truth be told, uh, I am a uh, G Tops uh, owner. Uh, Chris provided those to me for the 21, 2021 Jeep Talk Show Gladiator, and they are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I uh, actually have gone through a hurricane down here in Southeast Texas at Studio A. No leaks. So uh, if you're looking for something to make your Jeep that much special, have a uh, have a look at uh, G-Tops, gtops.com. And uh, let's, uh, let's listen to, to Chris uh, talk all about them right now. From around the world. <laughs> or from your city. And sometimes just down the street. Howdy, neighbor. It's the Jeep Talk Show interview. All right, hi, ho, Jeeper. We're back for another interview. Well, I love these interviews. It's so much fun to talk to folks, and I get to talk to uh, what has become a very good friend of mine, Chris at uh, G Tops. Uh, Chris and I talk. What, what do you think about uh, at least once every couple of weeks? Yeah, I. I uh... You, I, I mean, now if, that now if that, it's um, if it's less than that, or you never talk to me, that's fine. You can help me. I can. You can. You can tell me everybody I'm lying. I don't mind. No, I was just, just <laughs> kind of trying to come up with a good reply. But, but 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 you guys have been enthusiastic and actually have my product on your vehicles. So that, that oh it yeah. Gives me more. Um, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I was nervous uh, initially. I loved the idea behind uh, being able to have uh, the clear top that wasn't a. Um, a big, huge piece of plastic uh, that to me was going to be problematic. And uh, this seemed to be a very good um, uh, OEM plus is one of the things I like to say about uh, uh, various products that I see. It's it's something you would have expected for the Jeep manufacturer to put in there as an option, uh, an expensive option, an add on. One of the things that they would do, you know, like for a Rubicon or something, uh, but they don't. And I was just, and, and the cool thing is, is that, I mean, I've been doing this, this thing for 14 years now, and I had never heard of your product. And that, that that's kind of a lot like uh, the Jeep talk show. We've been doing this for, for a long time and a lot of people don't know about it. It doesn't mean it's not great. And I was just blown away about how wonderful this product uh, is. And especially now that I got to experience it. All right. So let's, let's, let's get on. I just told you we were going to stay on track and I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> so no, um, <laughs> that, that was, that was kind of the gist right there that I, I really wanted to lead into because um, OEM plus and Tony, you, you did coin that. Um, and, and I don't, it, it's those simplistic kind of things that are like key mm -hmm. and, and, uh, Back in in 010, when we were awarded the first patent, that 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 was the entertainment back then. We were going to do an OE run with uh, Jeep. Uh, we we went through all the all the uh, motions, and uh, we never got there. And, and Mike Manley had had already uh, left, and and it, maybe it will be reapproached uh, soon. Because one of the things that um, I didn't tell you, I, I, I'm putting my wife in a new JLU, and um, of course, the unit didn't get in here yet because it was special ordered. And she's got a, a 23 JLU. Well, guess what? And it, ironically, it's a it's a friend, it's a dealership friend principal of mine that, that I've known for forever. And uh, it was a loaded 23, and it's got the folding power fabric Wabasco <laughs> roof in it. <laughs> That's just, a, that's just I insulting. Know, I, have, I, I know that roof inside and out because I'm one of the oldest Wabasco agents, or I should say partners in, in, the, in the world. Right. Um, and we used to repair tons of them. Um, now, now they changed a few things to, to do the adaptation that they did in the Wrangler. Um, but that is, it is a Wabasco roof. So I know mm. it know it intimately, but what astounded me was how bloody loud the thing was. It was windy, windy. <laughs> no, it was windy here yesterday. But even even my wife called to say that even when it's not today, it's not windy. But um, the front had come in. But 
I mean, I'm talking obnoxious, mm-hmm. loud. Um, I've been hearing that from people with the, what's the thing that... Uh, Clear lids or... Um... No, the... The, the uh, Scott uh, Wabasco even made one for a while, but then they, they you talking about the best top where you can uh, run the thing back. Best yeah. Best ops thing. I mean, that's loud. Yeah. And well, what, it's like a drum because the air hitting on, hitting that surface it, it, yeah. of that, uh, uh, that, uh, yeah. And, uh, I, and I know, I know the fabric and I know construction when I used to do convertible tops and, and all that high line stuff. And I know what little engineering tweaks you can do, but I was just, I was blown away that that, that, folding fabric roof that everybody's touting. Um, I mean, just about every unit that, uh, that, that Jeep builder that um, I've been talking to lately, uh, uh, Ruby tops, Ruby, is it Ruby? Ruby, uh, Tr- Truby trots. You, you haven't anyway, included, you haven't included me in the conversation, so I don't know. <laughs> every build, well, every build they do, they're, they're, they've got the, that OEM top in there and I'm I'm the same and they're saying how they've got all these plain Jane ones that are sitting out on the back lot and they they don't know how to get them sold and I said well why don't you put g-tops in them and so even more so now I'm 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 realizing that here these guys are selling you know 135 on average thousand dollar units all the way up to you know almost 200 g's and they're putting that factory, they, they're, they're pushing that factory folding fabric roof. That thing sucks. Mm-hmm. And, and it, I mean, I, I, I don't, I mean, it, it doesn't suck relevant to when it opens. It is fabulous. It's huge. It's all you, you, the back's open too. So conceptually, it's wonderful, but bloody noisy. I mean, I, I don't know how anybody can hear themselves think driving down the, the freeway. Well, I guess that is the neat thing. Uh, there are various options, and that's the wonderful thing about a Jeep. There's various options that you can get. You can do it the way you want to do it. And what I want to do is encourage you guys to get something that I think uh, checks all the boxes uh, for being able to see out the top of your Jeep, but having so many conveniences, like you're talking about the noise. Uh, the the sun coming in is going to be very hot and very bright, but with the, the G-tops, uh, it is uh, uh, not because it's a little it's got a little tint to it, so it's not as bright, and it is cool. It's actually cool under the the, the freedom panels, and and that's what I want to make sure people understand. A G top is a modified freedom panel, so you're not getting something that replaces the freedom panels. You're getting a modification to the factory created uh, freedom panels. That and makes by, it a lot better. And by federal law, people need to understand we, by federal law, cannot compromise any of the FMVSS, which is the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. We cannot change Jeep specs at all. What we have done with this is we have made the tops stronger. We have made them considerably, well, the, the passenger side is uh two ounces, the driver's side is like uh, four ounces lighter. We actually made them lighter, but they're in a crush test, they're about three times stronger, being because we put more structure into the forming of that acrylic, um, impact modified acrylic, aircraft acrylic piece that we put in. Um, So when we computer designed it, a lot of people say, well, what's the, why is it shaped like that? That's the perimeter, but why is it shaped like that? Well, it's to it's for one. It's to bump out and and make optimize the viewing area. You can't you cannot make the viewing area any larger than what we've done because mm-hmm. it, there's the parameters of, of the latching system and whatnot. But there's also the parameters of the structure. So we had to integrate ours with the factory to to enhance the structure. So we've made it um, structurally more sound. But um. That and then there's there's the balance of the top. The, the weight has to be uh, equally distributed to it. You can't just like those crazy guys that that are out of business now. That panoramic thing that they were throwing household glass on. You, people don't understand. You can't just take something and throw glass up on top because then it, it the the dynamics of, of it in a crash are entirely different. You've got the weight to the top of the top. The, top, the weight has to be. You have to keep the, the the top uniform to the design that it was when when Jeep designed it. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, you you know me, I get real wordy, but you're trying to convey well, you, this. To you're people. concerned about this, and you've put a lot of time and engineering into it that people don't uh, that that, well, that, that they don't know because you're right. Somebody can come up. Uh, what what was the old thing? My dad's got a barn. Let's put on a show, and they just come up with a way of uh, putting the something on the roof, and it may look cool. 
but they yeah. don't but people don't know the science behind it yeah well and and there's there's a lot to it they are encapsulated in a lot of people who i've had people over the years kind of bomb grade well they're they're they are we use a bomb grade structural silicone it's not only it's it's structural which means that it, it's got really high pole and shear it, it's got the highest pole and the highest shear um specs of of any goop <laughs> that you're right uh, putting in. but it um it, it, we we do that because it's extremely elastomeric, so it has of all k- kinds of mo- you know. There's a lot of movement going on. Oh, and you, you have to have that, especially in an off-road vehicle that's uh, that's twisting uh, and stuff. You need that uh, ability to uh, to flex. So, let's, that, getting back to the, the the original question, what is a G top in simple terms? It's a, 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 a easy it's, way. It's, that, it's an aircraft window that's been. Uh, uh, a, retrofitted into the factory top with without without changing any of the 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 original factory top and would you say actually improving creating it so that it it's optimal with a view yeah and actually improving the the freedom panels uh to a degree improving it yeah Yeah. all right so cool now uh this is another one because everybody's concerned about how long things how long you've been in business are you you going out of business is this a a six month deal that you've been doing and of course i know the answer to that but but i want to get you to answer it how long has g tops been made um well g tops is a registered uh uh, a a registered trademark we have a a red r and 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 it is the unlike actually i just ran into a company the other day that um yeah, you have to have a trademark for a specific amount of time before then you can go approach the patent office and then get a registered trade. We, and we are a registered oh, wow. trademark. Mm-hmm. That in itself, we if anybody understands any of that, you got to be around for a while to have it. But no, um, I have been in the sunroof industry all my life. I put my first pop top sunroof in when I was all of 21. Um, and then became, I, uh, I was a American sunroof, cars and concepts, um, American Sunroof Corporation, if anybody remembers American Sunroof, uh, you know, that was OE at Ford, uh, GM Chrysler, American Sunroofs. I, I also was a, a Cars and Concepts dealer, Cars and Concepts T-Tops. Those came OEM factory back in the day. And I'm dating myself. That's a long time ago. And Hearst hatches. If anybody is out at these car shows and they see these these cool, the Hearst shifter, and then, then oh, yeah. they'll probably see some Hearst hatches on a Camaro or a or a, a, a F body, which is your Monte Carlos and your uh, those, but yeah, we used to put it um, uh, cars and concepts Hearst hatches in. So way back then, you had to be structurally uh, the 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 fixturing and the well, jigging. You, you, you wouldn't have been a, you wouldn't have been in business this long off. if you weren't doing it the right way, because by now somebody would have died from a bad design. So well, and you would have been out of business, but just simply because of the lawsuit. The corporation, well, no, but but we carry a ton of, uh, you know, we, we ton of carry carry a ton of. Uh, well, that's another good question for a lot of you know our product liability. We got we're we're product liability insured up the yin yang, mm-hmm. but the um, Autovation has been around since 1989. Wow, um, it's a Delaware C corp. We're not an S corp. We're not an LLC. We are a Delaware C corp. You can look it up. Um, September of '89. Um, we all the way up until when G Top started, we were wholesale to new car dealers. We did we serviced serviced all the dealers in Milwaukee, Madison, and Upper Chicago. We usually did about a million dollars a year in in Highline inbuilt power sunroof sales, a big inbuilt and and big panoramic roof. You know, and I usually ran about six to eight guys. And and our claim to fame was uh, one of the things was the fact that we were mobile. But we, you know, but we are wholesale. I mean, and and that in in itself, uh, I don't, I've said this to you before. I don't brag enough, but <laughs> being wholesale, you got to remember that that those vehicles were setting those up and and getting them ready for delivery for, and these dealerships used to live by us, and and we used to never have any warranty because we were so anal and had these excellent systems in place, mm-hmm. but um. It was around 08 when I had a bunch of customers coming to me saying, you know, you used to do T-tops in the day and and um, I've got this new Wrangler. You know, I can remember the first 07 Wrangler came in and look at these darn things and can you do anything? And I've got a manufacturing background, an engineering background, whatnot. And 
um, started futzing with it and, and, and then um, filed for patent after I, I came up with the first prototypes. But we showed at SEMA in 2010. It was the first time that I, I pretty, I think it was either nine or 10. But I, but I, you know, saw everybody, you know, walked around and it was old home week as usual when I go to SEMA because I always know all these, I kind of know, I know all the old guard. And um, anyway, the, the, the first patent came and then, the, then uh, it was about a half a year, about a year later, another patent came. And, um, you know, at that point, you're kind of in it. I mean, you're vested. I mean, we built prototype, you know, I you know, started buying tops up like, you know, the, our local uh, Mopar dealer, you know, just they used to shit when we'd order, you know, we get 20, 20 <laughs> front, front sets at a time. They, they'd come in. and So let me read between the lines. It sounds like you're saying, and correct me on this, that, that the G-Tops have been around since 2008. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, 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 and on, on dealer showroom floors uh, since. So it wasn't on, a hard sell. I can imagine that people seeing this for the first time, it's like, oh, it, absolutely. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a no brainer. And it was and, and more so for me some of the irony in there was that it wasn't a hard sell for me person, you know, as, as autovation at the dealers on a wholesale level, because we had, we had the stellar reputation with, with, you know, anybody in, in the Milwaukee, Madison or, or upper Chicago area, mm -hmm. let alone when you start going out, because I know I've, I've trained everybody around the country and, and I've, I've been in this for so long. Heinz, Heinz and, and Chris Prechter with American Center of Corporation, they're out in California. Heinz is dead now, but um, Chris is still alive. And and um, they have their aftermarket shops and whatnot. And I used to train people out there. I, I, I trained people on the East Coast. I, um, I've, I've had a few other operations uh, through the years. I mean, we used to do, um, I, I had close to 300 people when uh, Carvalet was a was a um, a company that my partner was from South Africa and it was the only manual glass sliding sunroof in the world it was it was made in but, but I had um, Christ I had close to two hundred installers we, we, we it was goodness. all in house up and down the East Coast all the way out to the Mississippi in every major city and um, so I guess what the point and here is salespeople also calling yeah. on dealers but all that organization was wholesale to new we sold direct to the dealers. Right. So, so what you're saying, you know, here I get these apprehensions from all these retail people when they call up, mm -hmm. and I, I, you know, me, I get a little short fused kind of when you're trying to, no. you know, people are talking to you like you're some kind of a backyard hack and I'm going like, <laughs> well, I mean, there's know, we, so many of them out there. I understand why well, they would be concerned. Yeah, no, but you're right. There are, but we, we, we um, and, and I, and, you know, I've, cried on your shoulder. I've run into it to so many. I, there, hell, there's this crazy guy, panoramic guy up in Canada now. People, I mean, I've got, I've got a counterpart up there who's, who sold all his stores to um, four-wheel uh, parts, um, who actually used to work for four-wheel parts after he sold his seven stores to four-wheel parts. But we, now, right now we're working with the Canadian DOT to get this, this backyard <laughs> hack. That's, he's got a nice website, but it, what he's doing is completely well, illegal. And because, that's one of the reasons why we're doing this interview, because uh, yeah, you I mean, have, I know you have a great product. And it needs to, people need to understand this. It, 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 and you shouldn't be buying these well, other products, you, in mean, my opinion. I'm getting a little off track. I mean, but the, but the, these, these, these plastic units, I designed one of them for, for Quadratech way back when, and I said, it's not going to work. I said, from a marketing standpoint. But what's interesting is now after a year of ClearLids being out in, in the marketplace, I get calls weekly now about all these disgruntled <laughs> people. They're, they go, I can go get over 50 miles an hour. And, and it's, it's, this is, uh, you've stretched a drum over your thing, but then they talk <laughs> about the heat they talk about the acid trip view. Yeah. The, the, and, and the irony is, is why I, I just want to go, why are you, how can people be so Oh, well, yeah, I told you as soon as I got my modern day Jeep and I saw the clear lids, I went, oh, this would be a really cool thing to have. You, you don't realize when you're seeing this thing, all the, the, de uh, the, uh, the difficulties you may have. I told you that there was a, a TikTok person because I put up that, that wonderful video that uh, uh, Anthony put up with his wife uh, seeing the, uh, the, the G tops in their JK. Uh, that you uh, did a giveaway here on the Jeep Talk Show for, right. and how, oh, how just wonderful, mouth wide open, just a, in, uh, in awe of how wonderful this this. That's looked. what makes us all worthwhile. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> and and yeah. I and, and I put that up there, and somebody said, "Hey, let me know what it sounds like in the rain." 
And I said, are you talking about clear lids? He goes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so no, and, and, and apparently it's kind of loud when you're driving around oh, in the no, rain. There, no, there, it's, a, it's thundering. It, it's, I, I, heard, I've heard, I heard that um, one of the first, um, I think it was the Jeep invasion they were at. Um, and, and that's back before they even had sold anything. They had a couple of, pro, I don't know if they're prototypes or whatever. And, and um, you know, of course, I get, I've got a lot of people out there that oh, call me up and, oh, boy, oh, sure. trying to rain on your parade. And pardon the, pardon the pun. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's deafening when it rains. They're, they're horribly loud. They, they change shape. It's the wrong material to be using. It's the same, it's headlight material. Right. Um, well, actually, let me get the question because we're kind of qu doing the, this, this question right now. How are G tops better than other clear tops or cloth tops? Uh, that can be uh, folded back. So, it, and we've kind of talked about this already. I mean, we were talking about the the drumming noise that you get from the cloth, the drumming noise that you get from the clear lids. Uh, there's uh, issues with uh, the one you were talking about, I guess the, the guy up in Canada or the company in Canada that was using uh, household glass, uh, which just sounds dangerous and heavy. Uh, you, you cannot put household glass on, on, on any road in the, in the world. But it's, but it's really, it's easy to go it's get because you can just go to Home no, Depot. People don't understand. There's, <laughs> you know, there, no, there, the, the household glass has nothing to do with automotive hardened safety glass. Yes. It's, it's too entirely, it's it's made in a, in, a, in a whole different oven situation with gases and things like that and tempered like three times. And mm -hmm. Well, people it, don't it, understand it, this. And this is one of the reasons why they need to understand the, the engineering yeah. and the details of the stuff and, and the background well, that you the, have the make G -tops a G-top. actually lower lower the cabin. Uh, not not that a, not that a Wrangler and Gladiator isn't isn't definitely loud. Oh you yeah, know, you're driving a box through the wind, but Part if of you its take charm. a you, you, <laughs> well, Tony, you you drive one. You I mean you, you can't notice that it's quieter, but I know you will tell me that that it it, it didn't change. It, it didn't it, at change, all. and I drove twenty no. hours uh, up to Moab and back, and then and and and, 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 and and more importantly, the wife was with me, and she didn't complain about it. You know, well, if there's going to be a complaint, <laughs> and, and there again, that that's some. Um, you live often. I've heard that you know because we sell about fifty fifty to women and toward to men, and and, and the ironic that's so pleasurable when I hear and I've heard this so many times, whether it's either a wife that the, the husband doesn't participate riding around doesn't even like the the, the Wrangler or Gladiator in some cases that's a divorce or, right or vice versa and right. how often I have gotten a phone call or they're, then they're saying oh my God my. My husband really likes riding in this thing now, or or my wife really likes riding. Oh, it's in this it's thing a now. whole new world. Um, I mean, it, it's a, it's like having a high end vehicle. Uh, it, that you know that you that, that some of the companies it, that put the moon it, and the it, sunroofs it in there. It. it completes it. I had a yeah. guy the other day on on Facebook, and he you know he's he's. I mean, he was probably thinking I was going to throw him a, a, a bone or whatever. And I, I just was real cool. And then he had to say that he was somebody with something or something. And you know, that's all good. It's wonderful. And, and some Jeep club that um, is worth its weight. And, but the, he, but he was saying he was saving up to get a couple of things. And I, and I replied to him, I said, this is going to be the most used accessory and oh, yeah. enjoyed accessory that you will put on your Wrangler. And and, and if you look in some of the, the stuff on, on, on our uh, Google uh, star review, I've had, I don't know, it's probably at least three or four and we don't have many. I think there's, we're still under 50 because nobody, we sell to such a high line kind of, you know, they don't have time, but everybody that, that will go, they go, you know, bang for the buck as far as an accessory goes. Yes, it's not cheap, but it, it has a five-year fifty. I mean, and and we're not going to give it a five-year fifty if we don't. If we know it's going to. And if you if you take the care, do the care instructions, which is just all we say is just wax them once a year inside and out with pure carnauba wax. Pure carnauba wax, not a none of these cheap, you know, things that. Best Buy or, or, or not Best Buy at a uh, Walmart or, or uh, whatever, you know, Best Buy uh, or Circuit so, City, well, right? <laughs> a, a real true Carnuba, which is, is um, because it's, it's the only thing that uh, hurts this stuff is, is chemicals, the, the, the foreign, the foreign harsh chemicals. You should treat it like you would a, a nice flat screen TV. You're not spraying treat the like, Windex on like it. You, treat it like you treat the paint on your car yeah, exactly it, yeah uh, chemically it is it kind of kind of similar it's a it's an acrylic but no that it's this this is it those are 
They are aircraft, they're impact modified acrylic. It's the exact same material as on the F-16 jet canopy. It's the same material that you see in the side of a Sikorsky helicopter when it's taking off with. It, it's high end stuff. It, it, I mean, the, 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 it's, it's it is, good it is, stuff. It is breakable, but it is, you can, we can say with all truthfulness is uh, virtually unbreakable. You can take, it will not, hail won't hurt it. Um, I think I posted a, on your matter of fact on your site um, that there was a rollover that they somebody finally you know not that there hasn't been a bunch but the, um, with our tops but they don't break and the, I, I put rollover pictures um, the, the the thing rolled like five times it was a Wrangler but the but and the top kind of disintegrated but guess what it didn't break one bit no crack no nothing. Mm -hmm. with, big panoramic panel that and, was in the room. And that's going to make you, that's going to make you feel really good. Let me, let me uh, direct you over to something real quick. I don't know if you've seen this. I don't think we've talked about this before. Have you seen, and this isn't clear, uh, a clear top. Have you seen where they're selling these brackets that you drill oh, in? The, the flip back. Yes. The flip oh top. Oh my God. I, I, <laughs> I, you know, kudos, kudos to the guy, but. Um, oh, it's, I, yeah, I, it's, I, it's fine for an I, idea. I am waiting I am waiting for the first customer. Well, no, which was kind of cool. I thought, I think he was thinking about us in one respect because, yeah, the, the G top panels will go right in those. Um, oh, will if they? Someone chooses to, and 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 the G top panels will hold up even if the people are just taking them and throwing them back. They won't. They won't break. Oh, that's the best um, of both worlds. I mean, there's no way in the world I'm putting big hinges and screwing holes into my fiberglass <laughs> top. <laughs> But I mean, if you're okay with drilling holes in your Jeep, which I think everybody, the first hole in your Jeep is the hardest one yeah. to drill, uh, yeah. then that's interesting. I, I, I did not know that you could still put the, the G tops in these things. So, so if oh, you yeah. have the yeah. easy flip top uh, for your JLU Wrangler, you can still put the, uh, the, the G tops in it. But I, I have to, I have to say, why would you, I mean, you were talking about the, uh, this being able to, this is the best thing you can do to your Jeep because you use it every time you get in the Jeep and drive someplace. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is enjoy the view above. I, I mean, there's, there's no folding back. There's no anything other than sitting there and going, Oh, I didn't know that that crow was there. Oh, don't you poop on me. You know, this is all the stuff that you can see now is just amazing. Well, and, and and we, we, as I said, I keep stressing, we haven't changed anything. Um, we've right. just enhanced it. And so the tops will go right in the storage bag. They, they, you know, that was the thing about these damn big, big plastic panels, you know? You, yeah. If you, you want to take it off, them. you can't, I mean, they, you they, can, they, but where I are you going to put guy, it? I had a guy from, um, where was he? He was either in Washington state or, or, um, or maybe he was up in, in he was either in the East coast or West coast, but way up, up, up maybe he was in Norfolk. But where it rains, it rains up there like crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but it, he, but he brought up he, he, another guy that that was going. God, I wish I would have heard about you because I went and got this damn clearly. Actually, I think he got a putko, and he said this. You know, he's going on about how this is. It's just junk. <laughs> sorry to say, and and he had had it for like I don't know two or three months, and of course couldn't send it back. And he said, well, the god goddamn this thing is what I didn't think about. There's no drip rails. So in a torrential rain, he says, you get out of the vehicle, whether it's a, whether it's that or oh, the other. No. And, and the, and the, the, you know, there's the gusset up on top on the, on the edge, but there's no drip rail. So even if it's pouring rain, the water is dumping off like crazy. So if, it, if you got to get out of the vehicle, you get out and you, of course, how do you get out of a vehicle, especially a woman, you know, you swing your legs out. So your thighs get drenched. Sure. Uh, immediately uh g getting out and and whatnot but i didn't realize no, that the irony so I, I, and also too i want to mention really quick uh there's there's nothing wrong if you like clear lids and if you want to have the clear lids and maybe those things that we're talking about aren't deal killers for you i i just want to make sure you guys understand there's alternatives uh the an alternative where you don't have to take it off, you don't have to put it on, well, you don't have to don't know, who, worry about who, anything who other than just placing it. And water leaks. Oh, I agree. I agree. But, but, I there's, but there's shape. people. I mean, there's people that don't understand Jeeps. How anybody would own a Jeep? So there, there's yeah. everybody has their own kind of craziness. Uh, so yeah. uh, I'm just saying this is a. I, in my opinion, this is a much better product and the only one that I've ever uh, had on my Jeep. So um, now this is the thing, the critical thing. People go, oh, this sounds wonderful. Love the engineering, but I, I don't want to pay 
uh, $5,000 for G-tops. And then this was the important thing to me when I found out, and we talked about this in the past, the pricing on the G-tops modifying your freedom panels, which you don't have to modify them. You can buy whole, whole uh, G-tops with freedom panels and everything, uh, but it costs more money. But if you just have your G-tops uh, modified, I'm sorry, just have your freedom po panels modified to G-tops, in other words, the clear piece put into it, how much does that cost? Ballpark, Chris? Oh, no, not ballpark. It's written in stone. Uh, um, and matter of fact, uh, I will also mention we haven't changed prices. Um, we've been eating it ever since COVID just to be, just to be nice. <laughs> A lot of people, I don't, <laughs> I don't think really, because everybody else has been hiking prices. About oh yeah. This. Well, but, but, left, but, right, but, and center. We didn't, cost, we didn't uh, raising prices. Yeah. Everything's but, going you know, up. Um, it, it's, it, it's the site will charge you 1165 to process a JK front set that includes one turn of shipping. And, and we did this because of course there's no shipping platform that can do some people want loaners. Some people want a box. Some people are really anal and they want to, they want to pack them themselves. So then we email them a tag, a return tag. Um, oh, really? That's, that's dumb. 1165 includes the first turn of shipping. We have a lot of people that say, I want, I want loaner tops. We ship out loaner tops for free and free to use, which sometimes I, I really wonder if people, I mean, we've run into a lot of people that I really appreciate, and there's other, other people kind of expect it, like, and I'm going like, That's interesting. We, we lose about, I mean, I tried to explain this to a guy the other day, because he somehow wasn't tracking, and it's very clear on the site. I said, you know, we lose, because this guy happened to be like, way out in Southern California. And I, I said, you know, between the shipping and, and everything and the, and the packing, the repacking and eating up boxes and, and, and all the labeling and all this stuff. So we don't charge for any of that. We probably, if you want to really amateurize the labor out in the whole bit, we're probably losing with you in particular, uh, probably close to $300 by the time that the tops went out, they come back and, and all the wear and tear on our loaner tops that we, mm -hmm. you know, we, Got us on the site. There's it specifically says we, and I can't remember the last time we have. We we, we don't charge a deposit on the loaner tops. Um, so it's I think it's a, a pretty nice consideration that we do where we we and when and when you get the loaner tops, the return tag is going to be right in there. Um, you know you pull them out, put them on um, your rig, and put yours in there as they came. We made we spent. Geez, we spent probably about three months coming up with the box system that we came up with. It's a and great, it's a great like, setup. Uh, it was really, like Apple that's computer. why, that's why I say it's dumb to pack your own stuff. Just yeah, use yeah, the box. Simple, that, stupid, stupid. And, and, and our, and our, and our, our FedEx rates, cause we do ship a lot. We've got some really good FedEx rates. I mean, at the most people are going to be spending about $170 extra with, um, and our, and mind you, we're, when we, when we send your tops back, um, in the case of the body painted ones on a JL or a JT, um, the value on them have, has gone up to three thousand dollars. Their body painted Good it's twenty five hundred dollars uh, value. If, if, if and, and we insure the hell out of them. But but uh, you know Murphy's Law, we, we we don't have damage. We don't. We just don't. We just well, I don't. think I think that's the, largely the, the due to a brick shit house. Yeah, I think and, it's largely due to the packing. It's it's a very nice deal. I mean, sometimes I have a little hard time because I had to do it twice. Because uh, yeah. I got loners and then I got the, my tops done. And and you, and you have to, I mean, for me anyway, and I think for everybody, it's probably a little concern too. They know how expensive those freedom panels are. And you're sending them no, off to, to, have, to somebody that's going to cut a big ass hole in them. So you need to be able to trust that company. Because yeah. if, if they don't do it right, you want, you're going to have to, uh, you know, put well, a tarp it, it, on it or put something on there or buy another set of freedom tops. That, that was my concern, even though I had talked to Chris and, and read all about it. But I guarantee you, it is nice. Like I said, it is OEM plus. Yeah. So well, now no, the, the no, next no. concern, the next concern that I had was how long am I going to be without my tops? Because even though I got loaners, I'd still like to have my tops back. So once, uh, once your tops land here, um, and the weekend can work with you. Sometimes the weekend works against you, but once they get here, it's it's written in stone. It, it's four to five days. Oh, it's that's usually great. Four days uh, that we that it takes the process. The process is is a basically a four step process. It's not like just putting a windshield in a car. Right. Um, because of that bomb grade silicone, it's it's what they call a neutral cure. It doesn't outgas with anything. There's no smell. 
that's another thing that I, I don't stress. Oh, you're enough. right. I didn't realize I didn't smell because, anything with the tops either whenever I got them. Yeah, they, they think they get them back and then they think that, oh, my God, maybe some chemical or something or it's going to be hurting me and my children or whatever. No, it, it, it's completely what they call a neutral cure. It cures by the moisture in the air. That's that's what the catalyst is that that sets the stuff off. So they're the outgassing. It's not like a it's not like a silicone, a bathtub silicone or anything like that. There's no acid base or anything. But so there's absolutely no um, harmful anything. In matter of fact, even while we're processing out in the shop, we don't. It's not stinky out there. It, it's uh, oh, that's a big but benefit. It's a four-step process, and in, in, from to go from one step to the next, we have to let them cure first before we can handle them enough. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, it's um, the, if if the weekend happens wrong and we don't get them shipped out on a Friday because they they weren't cured enough to to get it, then that then it, you it might take a little a smidgen longer. But depending on like, let's say when we sell to somebody who's down in, in Kentucky, which is uh, in most cases, then up higher up in, well, it depends. usually they're about two <laughs> days away. Right. So the, so the, they go on, the, the tops go on out and, and, um, and, and FedEx is pretty darn consistent for us. And uh, yeah, once they land, they, they get pulled out of the box. They get the warranty. The warranty stickers go on them before anything. If that, that that's an interesting thing, that, you know. And and they are and there are warranty stickers. I mean that that are registered in the, in the whole bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people want to know that they're five year fifty are, are on there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, that that and that that keeps them identified. So what, they're moving around a pretty big shop. You know, going through these these processes. You know, getting. First, getting the holes whacked, and then there's there, then they get they get cleaned like crazy because everything's got to be sterile for for this stuff to, you know, to to when you put oh, it I together. I well imagine. I bet you have to have a kind of a dust free environment too, because you don't want anything. Uh, no, we're we're far from dust free, because, but but we have an awful lot of um, either polyester ceramic or uh, stranded PVC uh, grindings going on. The the JLs and the JTs are are are, are made of uh, a PVC material. That's why they're so light. Um, mm -hmm. And the older JKs, it's a, it's a uh, polyester ceramic. It's basically polyester resin with ground up plate and, and it's aerated. And that's what make, made them in concept. They were lighter um, or they, they were light. But when they came up with this new technology um, making making the tops now, it's uh it's basically a plastic pipe. So, oh, you that's know, interesting. Like I, I was thinking it was fiberglass. Uh, so it's a no, lot more complex no. than that. No, no, there's no, there's no fiber. There's never been that. That's what, even the TJ w w wasn't, isn't. And it's, I, I'm always amused by people where I run into these guys that think they're know-it-alls and whatever. And then they'll kind of start debating with you. And, and well, if your top gets crunched up, um, fiberglass, fi it, the, the only thing that'll work with these materials is SMC, which is, which is boat, how they repair boat motor covers. Um, and it's kind of the same construction with the, the boat motor covers, but, um, yeah, when you're, when you're working with this stuff, it, it's a, it's a whole different, um, um, material. It, it's not, it's these, I see these guys on Facebook or whatnot, and they think, they think they're going to fix their freedom top that they just got whacked and, and they'll find when they go to a body shop, the, the they're, they're any Mopar uh, Chrysler uh, body shop. They're they're afraid of it. They just they order a new top. You know they don't. Right. Um, we we know this stuff because we work intimately and and with it and we know. But we're not repair. Every once in a while, we do somebody a favor if they something. Oh, you're screwed now. We, People are going to be contacting you. Of, <laughs> you know we do know these certain. Well, but this but is it, this it, is a good point. Like our, this is a good point. So if. Purpose. This is a good point. If somebody uh, is going to send you from Freedom Panels to have the G Top modification made, the the do the Freedom Panels need to be in perfect condition? No, no. As a matter of fact, there's been um, a lot of times where people will send us pictures to say because we we have done you know if you add paint, we we have had people want a fresh start on their JK where they send us the whole damn top and and we do a color change. They go from the standard spatter texture. My goodness. That, that, that and and. Well, no, and it works out slick because they they we only charge eighteen hundred bucks to to paint the whole top. But if you look at the Kelly Blue Book and look at what a body painted top a, a Wrangler value is worth versus a standard spatter texture top, you you um they're for the eighteen hundred bucks that they paid us to to 
paint the top and then put the G-top panels in, their value, not that they intend to sell it or trade it, but their value is up a hell of a lot more, which is kind of neat that they they, they changed, not only they, they changed the whole dynamic of the feel inside because of the G-top panels, but then they changed the aesthetic of it. Yeah. And so it looks a little more... Uh, a G wagon ish because or it's Rubicon ish, uh, you know, Rubicon or, or Mojave, any of those uh, color matched uh, tops. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, color matched tops and whatnot. All but, right, uh, now I got to uh, ask. We work, we work with them all the time. I've, I've been shipped tops that, you know, that blew off, that flew oh onto the highway. And, and they said, can you fix them? And, and yeah, we can, we can, within reason. Within reason, right. you know how to repair it's, them. If they're you cracked. have a little one-inch square. Well, that's not enough to work with. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, but there's, there's like anything. There's there's some tricks, but but our repair is a, a legitimate structural repair where right. Um, it's not it's not fiberglass. The, the body shops don't the body shops don't know how to do it, and if they right. did, they probably wouldn't want to take the care because there's specialty tools involved and mm-hmm. and whatnot. Not trying to make myself so, sound like. We're Special, no, but. that's really interesting. These are value adds that you can uh, that you can do uh, when you're getting your your G tops. So let me ask you this: I have to ask you because everybody is concerned because they've had situations, whether it's a a car that had a moonroof or a sunroof or something that leaked. So what mm-hmm. if the G tops leak or they get uh, get scratched? Am I just stuck uh, with having a, a, a leaky panel, a, a, a scratched panel? I, they won't. They won't leak. I. I, I believe I, you. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, they're they're in enca- the panels are in enca- the they're encapsulated at the bottom, which is the, the the inner under that that you see the perimeter when you're looking out. But they're encapsulated around the top. And if people don't know what the term encapsulation means, um, the goop um, is uh, filled, and then the the trim seal goes on. And everything's squishing out of the top, and it's squishing out of the bottom. It, 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 it's it's like way overkill encapsulating something. Mm-hmm. But that's the way we do it. There's about there's about four times the material. I mean, if you want to compare it to, let's say, a front windshield, um, we're using about four times the material per 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 the area that that we're putting it in. Um, there, there's about an inch and a half of material. Um, Versus in a, in a windshield bead, when you put a windshield in a, in a car, um, it's about a quarter inch mm-hmm. is, is what's sealing, sealing it. So, so we're three times that. So leaks um, are not an issue. What about the scratching? Uh, the, 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 um, the Matter of fact, a, a gentleman by the name of Mike Crenshaw just called me today. And he's, had, he's on his fourth G-Tops. He's out in. Um, you may have seen him on Facebook, Tony. He he um, he's with Shasta County uh, Emergency uh, guy. He he up in Shasta Mountains and all all up there in Northern California. Okay. Um, he's he's one of uh, a crew of like eight volunteers that are are the rescue team that go and and I mean they get. I mean, they, this is the real deal. They are they are out in the winter time. They're in navigating four feet of snow and 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 lost people that were in one of the parks or, or, uh, outback skiing and whatever. Cool, cool guy. And, and, um, he wanted the G tops because he, you know, he's got all his radios and all this stuff in there, a lot of expensive stuff. And, and he knows they're unbreakable. You can't break in. And, 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 um, but he had called me because he, uh, they, he had to, um, they couldn't get the, 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 the ATVs in quick enough. And it was a, a critical, situation with somebody that they, they were found, but they were like an hour and a half up and out in the middle of nowhere. And, and Mike, Mike's got some pretty extreme, well, his Wranglers, the, the one, the one, his rescue Wranglers are really extreme. So he went bashing through trees and the whole bit. Um, and I said to him, I said, I'm, I'm, he said, can you polish them off for me? I said, yeah, you know, I can do that. I mean, he, uh, so it, actually they're, they're being sent back um, probably tomorrow. Because he had also told me some good news, he said that they um, there's some lighting company that he that he has on on this thing because they they're, they're out rescuing at night and he's got all this wild spotlights mm-hmm. set up. Sure. Where, um, his vehicle's going to be at the SEMA show at, at, at this year, so he said, "Yeah, it's going to go out to SEMA and and whatever." Be, and I and I said, "Mike, that's cool because it's not a it's not a pretty baby. It's it's but but SEMA's becoming where they kind of like 
the, the stuff that's really used and that it's, you know, it, it doesn't look so fakish and renditious. Right. Um, so anyway, I said, well, the, the tree shouldn't really scratch. He said, well, kind of, kind of, he said, I, I really banged. <laughs> <laughs> was it wasn't was a tree lamb, yeah. Real, no, I mean he has he has the guide things. He said I even broke some some pretty damn big branches that I thought would not, you know, would not break that, mm-hmm. that they and they were banging up and over. So he says, yeah, he says he's got some light scratches, but yeah, all we'll do is um, this material. It's like it's like your car paint to a certain extent. We'll just um, uh, wet sand them out and 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 buff them out, and then and they will be they will look new till this material does not oxidize it, uh, and oxidation is from uv rays from being on the sun the, the, this, this stuff was invented in 1933 roman haas a german company but in in new jersey and and um it, it's designed to be out in the weather that's the the great thing about this material it's not like a headlight lens that once it starts uh, degrading or i think that's an important thing to mention it, it, no it, it goes to hell you can buff your headlight lenses back out but the, then you get more uv rays in about four months they'll, they'll right. look like shit again. And, and it gets more once uv it rays happening. because it's it's flat up against you know the the sun so it gets more well, yeah, uv you're, rays you're right. i mean you have a, a big enough issue with headlight lenses that are at about you know at, at, the, at the most rake 30 degree angle but right. most of them pretty up and then so the uv rays aren't aren't whacking them so just think now how they how bad and quickly you see them get now they say, oh let's stick it right up on the top up here i you know anyway but but the, our material someone made that comment um, polycarbonates are pretty cheap compared to what what ours is uh, this impact i mean these are it's aircraft window material i mean this mm-hmm. is it's not like something you can go to Home Depot or even go online and find it. It, it, right. it is not. It's at a 65 percent mix. It's well, designed. You know, all in all, this sounds like it's really you're selling this, this a fantastic product that's that's installed very well. Uh, OEM it's infinitely, plus. It's infinitely refreshable. You, and you, it you is have, it's it's cheap compared to what all the stuff well, that yeah, you've done no, to I mean, it. So, the other so you're I mean, kind I, of doing the Elon Musk thing. You're improving the process the and keeping the cost well, down. It's pretty expensive. And I'm going, well, you get what you pay for, which with us is probably, that's a snarky thing to say to people. But honestly, um, having been in the sunroof industry all my life, all these costs are completely optimized. I get these snarky asshole, excuse me, <laughs> that get on 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 the Facebook and they go. Well, I went on your site and I see these prices. And well, well, you idiot. Do you know you know what a factory top costs? If you look at some of the prices and really shop the prices, quite honestly, we don't make anything at all on on the JLs and and the and the Gladiators and the JTs. We pretty much sell those tops at cost. And so a few of the savvy people have said. You're, you're way below list if, if I take the uh, take the price that you charge just to process mine versus getting this plus. And I go, well, yeah, we technically really shouldn't be doing that. But then you could the, the Chrysler doesn't get mad at us because then it's kind of like that we've they they look at it like we didn't stick to a map price, but we're we're discounting our our straight price. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's all kind of how you look at it. But yeah, I've actually entertained marking up the 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 tops themselves but uh, we we i optimize this all out to be the fairest as you can be but these days everybody thinks that somebody's doing smoke and mirrors to try to tear your eyes out and, and going like well if you know how long these things took to make and you know that we've got a five-year 50 you will not find anybody and and quite honestly we put a five-year 50 on it because they're, they're they will last the life of the top as i started saying before if mm-hmm. you take the time to maintain them Right. And just don't, don't put any funky, you know, and, you know, the funny part is these days, if someone takes the time to call, I mean, you look for our warranty information. And if you look for our maintenance information, it, it's, it's out there, it's on the site and whatnot. But um, I mean, it, 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 I've had people over the years, I, a, a Rain-X. I love Rain-X. I'm an old racer from way back when, mm-hmm. but guess what? Rainex. If you'll read a bottle of Rainex, it says it destroys rubbers and plastics. Oh, you know, they no. tell you don't, if you even put it on your car, if you've got moldings, don't get the Rainex on there because you get it on there more than once or twice. Well, guess what Rainex did? They, now they now make Rainex um, that's meant for plastic. Um, but I but I, well, I was started saying this. I had I had um, a gal out in Vermont. She was oh my god, she's an old old customer now. Um, 
And, and Anne, what was interesting is she had a stained glass shop in, in, the, in that region up there in, in the hoity-toity Vermont in the mountains. Um, everybody knows her, knows her in that region because her stained glass windows are these art, artisan sought after, you know, she's been doing it that long. And, and she called me up and she said, hey, uh, uh, is it all right if my husband keeps putting the rain X on these? And we couldn't figure out why, why they got funky. Oh, and, no. and, and I, I, I said, I still remember to this day. I said, Vicki, no, no, no. Tell your husband, don't put the, and, and then it was like four or five years later. Now then that now they, they make a rain X four plastic, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's like anything, just use some common sense mm -hmm. with, with, them. well, and I think a lot of people don't know the difference between uh, the polymers and glass. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of TVs get destroyed is because it's not a glass panel on your, it, your flat screen it, TV. It's plastic. It, yeah, yeah. Different from the the G tops, uh, obviously. Yeah. All right. Well, so n now I'm going to feel bad about this, and and you just tell me no, we're not going to do this. But uh, we discussed it uh, about getting a 10 percent discount. Uh, oh sure, let's do it. Let's pump. All pump right, up. all right. Yeah. So if you're losing money now, you're going to lose 10 percent more. So for well, a limited time, and thank you for watching all the way to the end to get to this point. You'll get 10 percent discount. Was it 10, Chris? Did you say 10 or was it no, two? It was and and, and what, are, what will probably end up happening, depending on how they do their shipping or whatnot, it, they'll end up getting free shipping or they'll end up getting some consideration. Right, but, right. You know, the one thing we didn't talk about, how much time we got yet? Oh, we got plenty of time. Let me, let me finish this one. one. You get a 10% discount case. when you call in, because you have to call in and order a set of G-Tops for your Jeep. And this is for JKs, JTs, uh, and uh, JLs, that, that includes the JLU, of course, uh, and use uh, the code JTS for Jeep Talk Show, GTOPS. It's just really simple, JTS, GTOPS. All right, Chris, go ahead and, and, and say what you were going to say. Well, um, you talked about the tinting, um, and, and we sell the shades a la carte. And the reason we sell, sell the shades a la carte is we get, I've had some people in some of the hottest places in the world say that, you know, they get under them and they go, oh my God, the tinting is fantastic. And well, it is 99% of the UVB and the UVA is filtered. Mm -hmm. um, so that the heat gain and whatnot, um, it's not there like people people think. Now, I, I don't know. It really isn't. You, yeah, when, it's when not were, hot. Yeah, I mean, it, it um, the efficiency of that, the, you know, or I should say the properties of that material, you try to get people to understand because right away they're associating it with, with some tempered sunroof glass that they had in their Cadillac or their Lexus. Or yeah, they, they think they're, it's going to be a, just a, a Which a is an entirely different thing with, with, a, with a, any a, a glass or, or even these idiots that are doing the, the these big plastic drums. <laughs> um, the coating is on the underside. With this material, the, co the, the UV inhibitors and the tinting is within the material. It's inside of the material. So what's happening is it's filtering. Mm -hmm. So the ambient light coming in is much softer. It doesn't have that squinty feeling right. is the best way to describe it. But in some cases, we get some people that, that um, and sometimes I think it's kind of their perception um, more, than, more than anything. But we have the Tesla shades. And when I say Tesla, they, if you get a new, in a new Tesla, they, it is the identical fabric because it comes from the exact same manufacturer that makes them for Tesla. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, it's there, it mutes the light out, um, cause there, it's a fabric matrix shade. You can still see through them, right? but, um, and but they, it knocks they, down the light. So it kind of, it's, it, it, it doesn't block the light. It just makes it uh, less. My wife, yeah. we, we went to, to meet her parents. Well, we can, for, we, can, for we can make them so they block complete. We have, oh, people okay. that, we, we have a template that we, we, we can take another piece of material and, and, and glue a, it's a felt right. and, and doesn't make make it any uh, heavier. Um, that's I, I wouldn't go that direction feather, because they're, they're like feather light. They don't yeah, weigh the, the weigh mesh. It. The mesh was really nice. You you maintain the vision out the top, which is why you got them, and right. uh, it's it does knock it down quite a bit. But we were going to uh, meet uh, my wife's parents yesterday uh, to eat. And uh, she says, uh, oh, I'm going to put the put my panel in because uh, the, the light is bothering me. And it really has to do with where the sun is. If it's if it's up above you and that light's coming in, the sun can be very depending bright. On the angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the angle. And she but popped it in. That was in that sun, Tony? She popped hers in and, and you could still not pop your... You, you still yeah, absolutely. And I figured while she got them, I'd put them in. Now, I will mention this. 
when you get these tops, if you do get these tops, uh, the, uh, the the panels, the Tesla panels, um, you need to mark them passenger <laughs> and driver <laughs> because it's a weird shape and they both look like they'll fit either one, but they'll only fit one way. No, they will. Fit, either one will fit either one. It's just a matter of remembering, remembering to, to take the pop out, the pop down tab, the little pet tab that you grab, um, whether you fold it around this way. The, if you look, Tony, they're both identical. Oh, no, I understand. But I mean, yeah, if you want the tab, yeah, yeah if yeah, you want the, the tab, tab hanging down yeah. without folding it around anything, there's a left and a right. That's that's the way we do it. She's, she's, she actually marked it, but she put left and right. I told her it should have been passenger and driver. Yeah, see, we 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 made them we made them only. Uh, see, you got the t the tab here, mm -hmm. and so if you pop it in, um, passenger side, the tab's hanging down. Right. Right. Now, if you go to put it on the driver's side, because they're you know they're, you just pull the tab around to this side. Yep. When you pop it in, because we didn't we didn't bother to tell the sewer to. So one on one side and one on the other, because they're, you know, they're, they're identical. Yeah. And people want to know how these things are. There, there, there's a, there, there's a spring steel in here and that's what keeps the shape. Yep. They're and very they're, light, very easy to install. I was sitting at a red light. Spot. Yeah. I was sitting yeah. at a red light yesterday when I, uh, she popped hers in and I went ahead and popped the one uh, mine in as well while I was, uh, sitting still. So, uh, this is a good time to talk about other products. We were kind of talking about it because one of the other products are the, the Tesla shades, uh, and they are not made for Teslas. They are, uh, if you're familiar with the Tesla shades, they're the, the, the basically exact same thing, but made to fit your, your G top inserts. So, um, one of the things that I'm very interested in, and we haven't talked about it all is, uh, you can get a, uh, a G top for the main top which is a panoramic uh, insert, which is just amazing to me. And if you've got kids, and in some cases, one of your customers uh, wanted it for their for their dogs. Can you see it, Tony? <laughs> oh, absolutely. That is huge. That is a yeah. huge thing that you can see out of. How, how does, I, I'm just trying to, I, I'm actually, this first time that you're interviewing me in the shop, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the office, mm -hmm. or I'm actually in the waiting room, but, um, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that that worked good. Then you, yeah. Yeah. The uh, oh, and those things. It's just amazing. And to have the complete treatment uh, for your Jeep, I think would just be amazing. Just think about how it would look for people that were in the back seat. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking about the uh, the days of drive-ins. That would be an easy way to get the your date in the back seat, wouldn't it, Chris? Oh, you got to see the the panoramic from the back seat. <laughs> Oh, and, and, and then, and then she's going to have something to look at. She's going to have something to do. Yeah. If her, if her legs are in the air, she's actually going to not be looking, staring yeah. up at some headline. And you tell them, just keep your feet off the, keep your feet off the Jeep tops, please. See the stars. And, and, if, and if they're, and if they're that, if, 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 you know, if you still happen to be at the drive-in and there's some neon over there, maybe you can look out and see some neon up above. I don't know. All right, Chris, I think we covered it all. We, uh, we talked about what a G-Top is. People should know what that is. We know uh, how long they've been made since 2008, but you've been uh, doing uh, tops for a lot longer than that. Uh, and uh, we, we talk we're, bad, we, we we talk bad about other manufacturers, so we check that we're, box we're, off. <laughs> we're approaching, Tony, we're approaching 6,000 units out in the, oh, interesting. In the world. And, and if people thought that they leaked, I'll bet, you know, they... they they, they 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 would see people complaining online by now. I would think. Yeah. You know, oh you yeah. Got absolutely. Six thousand units out in the world. Uh, although we have been mixed up with a couple of these other snarky fly by night things. Oh um, yeah. No. But, uh, there was one actually using this the similar shape too. So I I know that was uh, that was a bit well, irritating. I'm, I'm but I'll, I'll just mention you. I'll just mention really quick. Uh, I have a set of G tops and the freedom panels. And the 2021 uh, Jeep Talk Show Gladiator, I don't make modifications lightly. Uh, I was lucky enough uh, that uh, Chris sent me a set of uh, uh, G-Tops to uh, drive to EJS this year and just thoroughly enjoyed them. It made it very easy for me to uh, uh, decide to send my Freedom Panels to him. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, uh, we, we, and Chris has advertised with us here on the show a couple of times. So uh, we do do, he has uh, had paid promotion here on the show. Uh, and, uh, but I, I, I'm not number one. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll do ads, 
Uh, but if I don't like something, I don't care uh, what it is. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. And I am about these G-Tops. They're wonderful. They're OEM plus. Uh, and uh, we're not certainly not being paid for this interview, uh, Chris, unless you want to uh, no, send, me a little, we'll send me a little money or something. <laughs> <laughs> and not and not only is 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 this in the Jeep Talk Show Gladiator, uh, Chris, uh, the Jeep Talk Show Chris has a set in uh, his new Gladiator, and he is loving the hell out of them. I don't know. Uh, I know Chris calls you occasionally, uh, Chris, uh, but I don't know if he told you that he was uh, showing them off to several people at Toledo Jeep Fest, uh, and uh, here recently in the wood. Was it Woodway uh, Park Run or something? I, it's up there in your area. Uh, the thing um, that Jay Leno and stuff goes to. Uh, yeah. But but he was showing that off to several people, and they were amazed. I mean, a lot of people aren't aware of this product, or if they are, they may be getting confused with one of these other ones they've heard bad things about. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing the interview today, is to make sure you, as a Jeep Talk Show listener, is getting an inside scoop as to why these things are really good. In fact, and I love dropping uh, Greg Henderson, name from unofficial use only uh greg looked at these things at ejs and he was very impressed with them and i think you and greg uh are going to be doing uh something to get uh some g tops uh custom made g tops uh in a tj brute that he's working on i'm hoping that works out because i think that would make it a, just a fantastic it would make it just that much better of a build yeah no on the tjs we've we've um we've done it a few times where we put the uh the uh, jk uh, front panels in in the TJ, mm-hmm. and th- and this isn't something that Chris has. I mean, it's JK, JL, and JT. That's the the vehicles he supports. But uh, you have enough knowledge and uh, oh yeah, no, we, we adventurous to be able to yeah. to do it to other vehicles as well. But it's not something that I mean, you can call Chris and beg him. I mean, I'm just going to say if he tells you no, just be, just anticipate that you're going to be told no. <laughs> no, no, we, we 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 do it. We do it. Oh, very cool. All right, Chris. Well, thanks a lot for being here with us. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, well, I didn't even mention the, the website. It's gtops.com. And, uh, oh, it was something, uh, something funny. J, uh, Jeep Talk Show Chris uh, said, hey, I got a sticker. And the sticker, the, the gtop sticker is wrong. It says gtop.com. Chris left the well, ass no, off of it. Say, and then I, w- I went and looked, and it, you well, got I, both domains. <laughs> I have both domains. So you, t- you type one in or type the other, it goes to the same place. Yeah, that's smart. I was yeah. thinking, oh, my God, he got so many of those stickers. Uh, and I don't yeah. know if you can see it or not, Chris, but right over here is the one of the G-Top stickers that I have here on the board. Oh, Tony, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chris, okay, so was there anything gonna, else that you wanted to mention uh, to the folks here? We've mentioned the discount. That discount code is no, we're, JTS G Tops, ten percent off, and you need to call Chris and uh, tell him uh, when you go to order these G Tops. And uh, you can call Chris and ask him uh, ask him the questions that we haven't asked. Um, maybe there's one we didn't think of, uh, and uh, uh, he will uh, he'll he he'll talk to you for a good long while and happy to tell you well, everything I'm he knows. Gladly. I talk too much. <laughs> gladly. <laughs> Um, yeah, Tony, thank you. It, it was, it was great. We got to do it again. Absolutely. Uh, one of these days I got to get done one of your round, round table things. Cause that I, it's, the problem is with children and whatnot, it, it's hard to break time, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot for being here. And, uh, uh we really appreciate uh, all the support, uh, all the G tops that we have on our, uh, that Chris and I have on our gladiators. I'm absolutely wonderful. Uh, having a wonderful time with the G tops. There's nothing I have to do, and more importantly, there's nothing my wife has to do. All she has to do is jump in the Gladiator. She doesn't have. She has one of those tops that she can flip back on her TJ, uh, yeah. but, but it's 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 time and effort, and and there's no time oh, yeah. and effort oh, I, with a G top. Yeah. You just get in, and it's there. It's the, the that's why I keep saying, why would anybody want to deviate from the factory Freedom Top that they spent they spent all of in the original Freedom Top was six guys in a room for all of 06 for the 07 release. And two of them actually came to work for Wabasco. And that, you know, and I'm w- w- old Wabasco, you know, I'm been with Wabasco forever. That sounds like it should be a hot sauce. Well, any car you ever saw Hitler riding around and all those, all those went from Daimler over to Wabasco to be made into Cabriolets and, and every o, 89% of all OEM sunroof systems worldwide are Wabasco. The JLU uh, folding fabric roof, that is Wabasco. Um, the, the, the Wabasco makes the top for the, 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 the Ford Bronco. Um, 
and, and they do make, you know, any Mercedes that you see, that's all, all Wabasco, Porsche, Jaguar, GM, Ford, Chrysler, you know, on and on that it's, but, um, yeah, it, it's when you've been living, eating and breathing sunroof systems all your life. And it's kind of a small world too, actually. That's, mm -hmm. it's very specialized. So that's why, um, you, you, you just can't be any backyard hack. No. Well, you should, you can, but you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't do no. it if you're not going to do it right. I say, no, the, 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 there's <clears throat> specific laws and, and you can get in, in a lot of trouble. Fly by night, make that money while you can before you get shut down. So Chris, mm -hmm. thanks a lot. Uh, you guys that are uh, listening or watching here on uh, YouTube, remember to like, and subscribe here on YouTube. So you see all these things, uh, just go to gtops.com. There's a phone number there. Uh, the, uh, the, the, having the GTOP uh, uh, done to your freedom panels is about $1,200. Uh, call Chris and get it started and get that 10% uh, discount. And I don't know if you guys can do math or not, but if you're spending $1,200, 10%, that's around $120 uh, savings. That's, a, that's a, a lot of money to save. So uh, do it now. It's a limited time offer. So you need to, to call Chris up and say, uh, GTOP me. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Chris. Hey, big thanks again to Chris from GTOPS, GTOPS.com for joining us again here on the Jeep Talk Show. Uh, just just a wonderful product. And uh, I, I don't know that I've coined the phrase, I'm, I'm, but I think I'm going to claim that I have. Uh, Chris's uh, GTOPS are OEM+. Plus. Uh, something you would expect to get from, uh, from the factory, but just a little better. So uh, this is a, it's a really cool addition to uh, my Jeep Gladiator. And uh, I'm just really, really happy that uh, we ran across uh, G-Tops. It's, a, it's a, a fascinating product. And on the surface of it, it's like, oh, yeah, I've seen clear tops before. Oh, yeah. You know, but what's it going to do? What, what's it going to cost me? Uh, and time and uh, quality and all that stuff. Oh, I am just so glad I've got, uh, got the G-Tops. So check them out. At least uh, uh, check them out. Give Chris a call. Get more information on it. I, I think that you will really, really appreciate making your taking your Jeep to the next level. And I know Jeeps aren't supposed to be luxury, but this is kind of a luxury add-on uh, for the Jeep. So it's, it's really cool. I'm a, I'm a big believer. All right, so uh, just remind you guys that if uh, you're watching us here on YouTube, hope you are. If you're not, you should sh check us out on YouTube. Uh, that go over there, find us. Just uh, go to YouTube.com, search for Jeep Talk Show. I think it's this YouTube.com slash Jeep Talk Show. Take you right to the channel. And when you get there, uh, be sure and like and subscribe to the uh, to the the YouTube videos. We've got a lot of them there. We've only been doing this for um, six months or so, but a lot of videos there to watch. And uh, we're hoping you're enjoying them. And uh, oh, please leave comments, uh, good, bad, or ugly. I don't care. Uh, give, us, give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. All right. Well, that's another interview episode. We're going to have one again next week. Uh, please be there. Always having great guests. They always have uh, something very interesting to say. Uh, and uh, I personally enjoy them very much. And after all, that's the reason why we're here, right? For me to enjoy myself. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great Friday the 13th, and uh, thank you for joining uh, us here on the Jeep Talk Show. Broadcasting since 2010. You're my friend. You're my new friend. <laughs>